And right now at 10, debris left over from Hurricane Sally is causing safety concerns in Foley as first responders plead for residents not to burn anything. NBC 15's Corey Pippen joins us now from Baldwin County. Corey, you learned firefighters have had their hands full with burn complaints. Well, Greg, Kim, the last thing first responders need right now is a blaze spreading from downed trees and limbs just like these. Foley firefighters have responded to dozens of debris fires, one of which caused serious injuries. The destruction left behind by Hurricane Sally is seemingly around every corner, and the cleanup more than one week after the storm is far from over. But in Foley, fire officials say too many residents are taking matters into their own hands by burning. In our climate, it doesn't take long for things to dry out to where there's a real wildfire threat. Chief Joseph Darby with the Foley Fire Department says despite a city and state burn ban, his crews have responded to more than 40 debris fires and received countless complaints. There's no doubt in my mind that a lot of people have used accelerants to try to get it going. And in most cases, those people have just been lucky. I think this danger is going to get worse as the debris dries out. Chief Darby says one man was airlifted to the hospital over the weekend after he caught on fire trying to burn debris with gasoline. The entire situation has put an added strain on first responders. We're trying to get back to normal staffing because our folks need a break as well. So it's difficult to balance the emergency call volume that we normally have with these calls that are related to debris and related to the storm. Chief Darby says debris contractors have made progress, but there's still a long way to go. This is a long process, and whether you're in the unincorporated county area or whether you're in the city, these debris contractors will get to you. Just please be patient and, and don't burn it. Now, we spoke to Foley residents who didn't want to be on camera, but tell us the smoke from these fires have also created a health concern. Chief Darby says if you see someone burning, don't hesitate to call the fire department. Reporting live in Baldwin County tonight, I'm Corey Pippen, NBC 15 News.